Hello, I'm Lucy Hawkins. Welcome to BBC News Now. Three hours of fast-moving news, interviews and reaction. We start with some breaking news this hour. In the past minute or so, European scientists have said that 2023 left the records tumbling like dominoes, confirming it was the hottest year ever recorded. <laughs> Forecasts suggest that 2024 could be even hotter. Hi there. It has been a drier Tuesday. <laughs> and a fairly widespread frost here where we've always been catching. that 2023 was the hottest year ever recorded. <laughs> and by a really significant margin. So it may not sound much, but the record was broken by 0.17 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Which combined millions of satellite and in situ observation with model outputs to produce maps without gaps describing the state of our climate for every place on the planet at any hour. Thank you very much, Mauro. And Mauro Facchini will be staying with us for the question and answer session coming later. Now to introduce the Copernicus Climate Change Service and its work, I'd like to call on its director, Dr. Dr. Carlo Buntempo, to say a few words. Justin, as we suspected, there's quite a lot of technical Thank detail. You. There is. Yeah. And your job after we've finished our discussion is to go away and listen to all of them. 2023 was the first year on record. Every single day was one degree above the at least one degree above to those scientists and we'll be hearing from you throughout the day. But we wanted to really give you a sense of the effect that this kind of warming is having on different parts of the world. I uh, just wanted a bit of an update what's going on. I just read in the Daily Mail article a couple of days ago, hottest ever. <laughs> hottest ever throughout the world. Yet here in Melbourne, we're shivering our nuts off. As per usual, I don't know where they get their, um, you know, readings from, but apparently a few. It's the hottest day since uh, 160,000 years ago. <laughs> so, first I ask you, if it was hotter 160,000 years ago, how could it be global warming? <laughs> but get this, some UN clown said it's not global warming anymore. Isn't that a relief? You know what he said? It's global boiling. It's global boiling now. So we're going to act on climate change. Oh, fucking hell. So what's happened here in Victoria, our illustrious leader, dictator Dan, has decided that as of next year, 2024, new homes will be built without, get this, Gas stoves. <laughs> gas stoves. We get rid of gas. I don't know if that means gas heating is gone, but gas stoves, no more. No more. Too much carbon. Too much carbon. Climate change. <laughs> and they're, they're pushing this climate change something shocking, you know, with electric cars, with uh, 15 minutes the cities, whatever, whatever. And, of course, they're pushing it on their children who've got no idea what the climate was like going back when we were younger, uh, it's a joke. The kids have been brainwashed. They cleverly used uh, Greta Thunderbum, whatever her name was, uh, you know, to get all the kids on their side. 